it is now crystal clear that liberators have become predators as i'm talking here as a matter of fact my family have paid a price and today i'm feeding people in Duala adults who were supposed to be back in their villages eating from their farms and today they are displeased it is true that there was an anglophone crisis but i don't want to talk about anglophone crisis today i want to talk about the atrocities caused by the very people who said they were protecting anglophones if there was another adjective that qualifies the nature of these people which is more than the word the beast that dr apostle may said a while ago i would have used it because i don't see a reason why you kill your own people who are the soft target if you said you learned that senator tabe tano was in town for the celebration of the cpdm you would have gone for him he has the military there are jews in this area there's the governor in this region you leave the governor you go for people our poor mothers many of whom have not even been to school they don't even understand the gymnastic of what is happening in the country they are just quietly staying there and one of the things i've discovered mr Liu, is that these boys there is no iota of conscience left in them anymore what started up as a genuine fight today has been turned into a criminal issue well. these are thieves bandits of the highest order that have developed in the anglophone community okay let us take a okay. i want to think that at this particular point in time those in diaspora who are championing this cause there is a need for them to answer squarely you know these criminals their modus operandi is in such a way that after perpetrating any act they try to doctor stories and bring them out those criminals i'll call them criminals to tomorrow who went out killing their own people you cannot kill the people that you claim you went to the streets you went out pick guns to protect you are criminals and you don't need any salvation it is shocking god is so merciful he can save you and i also want to believe that the president are giving you a way out the dzr is a way out for some of you but if you choose not to we are invoking the spirit of god in fact we are invoking the ancestors of our land to speak against you to destroy you people for choosing to destroy the children they left behind you are wicked some of you so stupid as you are you go on social media and you are telling me that my days are short you are stupid so the fight we are fighting is not a mental fight that's the reason why we are defeated we are fighting fight with bullets we're giving god people who don't think who don't reason who don't do analysis who don't judge who have no cartography of war in front of them they just get up because they think they can press the trigger and bullet comes and that's war a lot of factors are put in place and let me tell you cameroon government is using what we call the delayed tactics or the scotch head policy that scotch head policy is what samurai Touré used in those days to conquer the french he dried up everything green so when the french were approaching water hunger test killed them on the way what they are doing is not drying the straws in northwest they are drying your finances they prolong the war your soldiers are dying they prolong the war your finances going they prolong the war you don't have ammunition anymore they prolong the war and then they destabilize even those who used to contribute little fallings those who contribute nickels those who contribute dimes to put into the war they get weary and frustrated it is a scotch head policy they can drag this war for the next 30 years and you will not have the financial material human resource listen to us who have had critical studies we may not carry them we have used our mind to educate you but you won't listen to us stay there we are giving you free knowledge
We're educating you for free. What we have paid hundreds of dollars to study in universities, we are not dispensing it here for free. You don't want to take it and learn from us. You call us black leg, blue leg, yellow leg, green leg. That's a cup of tea. I went to school, study university, and I'm giving you my knowledge on how you manage crisis. You turn to blame me and judge me and condemn me. Thanks be to God, I'm doing it and rendering services to humanity. I've given Cameroon government counsel, I've given you counsel. If you don't value it, it's left for you. What you don't value in this Cameroon, other countries are already taking and using. Mm -hmm. Simple. It is evident the killing in Manfe, the killing in Babanki, we know the people who did it. It's the same people who call themselves Amber. But I think it is time. I will say this and I will say it on media for the Cameroon government to not only think of sending soldiers to go seek for them. I think drones need to be sent out at a moment like this to locate where these persons are. And they will be all bumped to death. Hail, hail, hail the Kumkumasa. We the Cameroonians we pledge our loyalty. Kumkumasa, Kumkumasa, you shall free our country from terror, and your blessing shall be like the stars above. The Most High God shall be your guide. It's not the first time that I'm coming to Batibo, but it's my first time to come to Guza Market. As you know. I'm leading a peace building caravan in Momo Division. And today I thought why to come and interact with you. Hello! Hi. Everybody will hear me. I have a voice of administrator. So it's always high. So as I, I was saying, I'm leading a peace building caravan. In Momo Division, and today we are in Guza Market. And as you know, many atrocities were committed here on the 4th of October. Two civilians were killed here in Guza Market by the so called terrorist Efan Emmanuel. We should know his real name, Efan Emmanuel, alias Big Number. On that day, I instructed to the DO to come and mourn with the bereaved family. So I came to, I come today in order to reiterate the message of compassion of the head of state towards the bereaved family. And on that day, I also, to my communicate, say that we will not leave any stone unturned in order to fish out all the terrorists that are disturbing our peace here in Momo Division. By the way, we continue to monitor those who are disturbing us. And a few days before now, we dismantled a big camp of terrorists in Hawaii where Efang's Emmanuel ran away with bullets. He underhandedly succeeded to reach Bamenda, later on to Belo, where he was admitted at the Baptist Hospital. Before the Belo, he was at St. Mary Hospital in Bamenda. So you can see that even terrorists are appear to die, but they are the one killing us. Two investigations opened by the legal department of the military court in Bamenda. We succeeded to lay hands on him on the 20th of January, where he was hiding there in Belo. Unfortunately, with severe wounded, he didn't succeed to leave. He, he passed on. And I say today, because in social media, there is still propaganda saying that Efang is not dead. Efang is still there because they are believing on Odeshi. There is no Odeshi. <laughs> devils. They are believing on devils. There is no Odeshi. With the constant collaboration of our 
good citizen, he succeeded to dismount, and we are still going on by dismantling many camps such a way that you should be free forever here in Momo, here in Batibo, here in Guzan village. Today, all of us should see the corpse of Evan Emmanuel, alias Big Number. Now it's a small number. <laughs> So, I want to plead with all of us to continue to work hand in glove with administration, with our security forces, in order to bring the long-lasting peace that we are looking for. Also, I want to call upon on those who are still in the bushes. We, there are some are our relatives. We cannot deny that one. But we can still talk to them that they cannot yield any good fruit by killing through kidnapping for ransom by the destruction of public and private goods. They cannot yield any good fruit. They are fighting a lost cause. The Cameroon is a united country from the far north to the south, from the west to the east. We are one people. And the head of state, I want to reiterate that the olive branch stretched out by the head of state is still open. Let them drop down their guns and join the DDR center of Bamenda. Many have done it many just to have a second chance as the head of state has, has pardoned them by creating chance as the head of state has, has pardoned them by creating this DDR center we the victims we the population of Momo we are also ready to pardon all those who will drop down their guns and reintegrate the DDR center. For them to know that that uh, war united country from the far north to the south, from the west to the east, we are one people. And the head of state, I want to reiterate that the olive branch stretched out by the head of state is still open. Let them drop down their guns and join the DDR DD, DD center of Bamenda. Thank you very much, uh, Efang, who was disturbing us, Nagoso. is not more. Nagoso. Nagoso. Assassinate them for Guzang Market here in cold blood. Thank you.
May the souls of our brother Mbayamsi Hansel Ruby and Abro Kletus rest in perfect peace. Okay. Uh, good morning once more. I'll be very sorry, say, not today way I did come down for car console the people of Guzan. Yes, we will discuss so many things then. And the very day way, the very time I finish discuss Wuna, I go back for Batibo Town. We'll be here to maybe happen after. We'll be here? Yeah. Will I be here? Yeah. Okay. I want to ask all who will they be here say. I beg when I listen. I want to ask all we will stand for here say. Now who be your enemy? Now who be your enemy? Now the question that we will be answering today. Now who be your enemy? I know the all will them stand there so and get back. Tomorrow, now your own turn. Who brought that way the assassinator for here will not even know them. Will not even know them. They can't put them for here, the assassinator said that they give you information. Will not know them. I barely read your names and have a phone for here. That was that address. Now. We don't know them. So, keep on collaborating with Amber at your own risk. At your own risk. Nana, so, we don't give an ask when again, who will be your enemy? We don't already know who will be your enemy. So, where to be the way forward for we? We will continue for the leave, so. Eh? No. We'll get for look a way forward. The way forward na say we na get for consider and I say the only person we feed you na protection na the state. Na the state. And the state na who? Na you we stand for this. Na new I stand for here. They don't just send we who we'll stand for on the front for and say who we'll can coordinate. The state being made up of the population, we now we'll the executive, we we'll now we'll and then the, the territory, not so, yes, by the state that. So the way forward now say we'll not give a no say only the state to protect we'll now. And for protect we'll now say wait. We work in synergy as we anglophone. They say uh learn the things they need to work are fine. Today now 2023. All we will assess all that in the way they be telling we. We will not play with standing. We will know enemy. They be tell we say they want better education for begin them. They be tell we say they want better hospitals for begin them. They be tell we say they want protect now. But today, where to see them? We don't discover and say the people the way they be talking they will protect we now and they the rebel now begin them. Now they don't deny some who picking they don't go to school. 
Now that they block we for one month, two months, we not come off, we not come out of our houses then. Now that they come afterward, can't ask we tax them. So we not pay tax them. We not take money for outside. After we not their house for two weeks, one month, three months, we will not come outside. Now they don't send all who fund them for exile. Now an abomination for Northwest now where me I be. I grow up like small Pekin. I be not say fun after God. Now fun. They don't desecrate with tradition. We fund them a pillar for development. They don't kill who picking them. We get a recent example for market for here. Where they put people them publicly so I never ever see of my life. I never watched that video. They tell me and I tell them. I never get the courage for watch that video. They put people them publicly. They execute them. Even animals are not executed like that. Yes, in 2023, we will be there for 2017. We will for 2023. The code will road them, highway. They will destroy them every day. If you go for far north, you know go see this kind of roadway, the pass so you know go see them for there. If you go for some place there for Yaoundé, south, south region, you know go see the kind of way they pass. Schools, the way they build them for Unafe, you know they for that side. Now that the whole drivers, the way that they try for business people, the way they try for manage, go for Nigeria or go for different different market, they come for Guzang for here, can't keep small money for there for so that means the economy grow. Now that they hold and take money. Now that they hold and take money. Elites, the way they stay down here for Una. They mean they come back with money where they don't go work and for outside. Develop Batibo. See and say bad people grow. They don't stop them from coming to the village. Now the place that we did there, when I begin analyze and me, at the end I will ask that question again. They don't stop the elites from coming to their homeland. This is seven years of regression. So now they live with that word, they did not answer. We not stand for you, so we not pay taxes. No man of it, not. We know. And we not play, we not go pay that tax. They don't stop developmental projects where the state begin for send them for you. They don't stop them. You bridge them all, they don't, so when they don't broke, they don't get repaired. Who wrote them, so when them bad way, government, they don't supposed to repair them. But no man of it get that hard to repair them. Because of our own beginning. Who begin and of it go school in peace. That is the worst. I tell talk for we last time say if you want to kill the people, you don't need a gun for kill them. You need for just take away education from them and their health. In no distant future, you will see a Zama non die. When they take education from Una, it means that Una will begin fight with herself because no sense not for Una head. In the beginning of the crisis, there was a, a strong agitation for secession. Mm. Then from there, it dwindled down to federalism. Then from there, it went down to confederation. Then finally, it came down to decentralization. Now, the people are not even looking for any system of government anymore. They don't want secession. They don't want federation. They don't want confederation. They don't want decentralization. What they are looking for right now is not a system of government or a form of the state. They are looking for peace. So if you ask them to drink urine now, I'm a figure and a voice in this nation. If I were one that came on air and said, hey, 
people who have wake up from today henceforth you are going to stay for seven days fasting they will take it without any pinch of salt they will take it except because they have come to in what we call in the driving school a dead end mm -hmm. a dead end is where you drive in the driving school you come there is no road going forward there's no road coming back so that's a dead end so the anglophones have come to a dead end and this dead end is a place where anything they offer you at that level you consume it is when somebody has been sick for too long they say urine is the last recipe or the last solution to your problem you will drink urine so if you tell anglophones right now any part of the nation of Cameroon in, in the anglophone region whether northwest or southwest so i come on it and i say hey hey anglophones in babanki for you to get out of the crisis right now you are going to declare three days fasting and we're going to see this this day will turn up in the village it will turn out that is because the people have come to a position whereby anything you offer as a solution to them they will accept it if you ask any sincere anglophone writer that, that what system of government or what form of state are you agitating for they will tell that brother leave that form of state what we need now is peace i want to go back to my village i want to plant huckleberry again i want to plant pumpkin again i want to roast corn close to my fireside i want to eat again haunted beef from the bush i want to sit back and go to my farm and do activities as i used to do i don't have peace anymore where i am let me go back please in the Cameroon now with the Cameroon before the crisis which one do you choose i will choose the Cameroon before the crisis because why they have tested and they are able to compare what they had and what they have now so this is something that has come to educate us and to teach us to understand that if you don't appreciate what you have in your hand, wait until you lose it. When you lose what you have in your hand, you will learn to appreciate it when next you find it. I think every Anglophone from the North and the Southwest now should be able to understand that what they thought was worst wasn't the worst. We, are not, we have now finally entered into the worst. The worst. Because this is exactly where we are right now, very desperate, very frustrated. Our struggle it don't be for a way we our people them for ground zero for the most part they don't be disconnected with the ambazonian the way they don't remain my toxic they don't become the talking head them for struggle because our struggle it don't be plagued with inconsistency sometimes outright stupidity them way in nobody hell of we at all our people they don't be frustrated they don't test cameroon they don't reject cameroon and they don't test ambazonia and the Ransi say the Ambazonia where it is now, it be worse than the Cameroon we will be the fight for. Make one know misunderstand me for the point where I make up. If you look all the Ambazonian representatives and the organization where they represent we, you go see say them be worse than La Republic. Look for Ayabache, which way they do them. They kill in the way they authorize them for ground zero. The violation of our people, then they total disregard to other Ambazonians. Them. A man will then take public oath, say he go use ADF for fight Sesiko, for make sure Sesiko is swear Sesiko no go ever be for power. Regardless of what a house Sesiko will be for power. It means if Ambazonian then choose Sesiko, he go kill her. Imagine which way Sako too, he don't talk and for hard. Chris Anno, he don't talk and for hard against our own people and the people do it and be willing for kill her. The resources they then be willing for sell and for compromise national security. And look at how they then manipulate and lead the, the, the conduct of our soldiers of the ground. Our people then today, they no go ever accept themselves for being ruled by Abacho, by Sako, by Chris Anu. Now just the fact of the matter that they are worse than the system we have in La Republic.